guy. The description reads, a single-sided sign, red and white colors, sans serif typeface, top line reads, Everett's on a Nice place, again. I've read about Repcon. I think they did some work with the... <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes. Up. What kind of prototypes? Not combo, what do you think, man? Repcon went through some rough times. When the rocket business was shaky, it didn't take long for them to repurpose their plasma technology. How do you know about this again? Stop thinking, sir. A red background, large typeface. Lines 2 and 3 read, Building and Garden, on a white background, medium typeface, all caps. Line 4 reads, Supplies, on a red background, small typeface, all caps. And the next one, this was for a company called Kingman's Barbecue. Contact Felix Sweep. of these signs and the description reads double-sided sign black brown and white colors sans serif typeface top line reads kingman's on a black background small typeface all caps vertically below reads barbecue on a brown background large typeface all caps with a white arrow border and the last one is an accident report log incident broken glass. Oh, Kagan me. dropped one of the glass tubes today while forming it. He ended up with a nasty cut on his hand from the broken glass. Fortunately, no one else was hurt. I bandaged his hand and had him clean it up before sending him home. One more accident like that and I may have to let him go. Kids too accident prone. The next one, incident, elevator. One of the elevators to the upper loading dock broke down again. Unfortunately, Jonathan was inside waiting to unload, and the sudden stop caused one of the signs to. Okay, got hey, it. look at this guy, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> take, a, take a look at this guy. Alright, Tomato, you go first. No, you go He's first. Broken. Okay. I'm going in first. Shane? What's that? Go, fire, go, 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 Kind of nice. Is it just water? Yeah. That is chill a out. fire hydrant. Ah! Oh, it hurts! That's right! 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 Yes? Something. Sorry if you always say. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expensive topic. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities. Is it Director of OSI? Dr yes. Not yet. We aid some programs directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. His name was something like exceptional or marvelous or Fantastic. Oh that was me. I fixed you to this one. I see. What is the opinion of Williams? Williams is an admirable researcher. If she wasn't, I'd have terminated her contract. Terminate a contract? Williams has. No. I... So, who did train you? For the bombs, I might have studied at any number of colleges, universities. They gave a man a chance to advance himself. But after the bombs, until a few years ago, anyone with half a brain had one choice the followers of the apocalypse. Didn't matter if you agreed huh? with them or not. 
You either played along or you were. There's a scene like a place where someone's such a mason. Exactly right. Imagine what the followers could have accomplished if they were properly motivated. Those of us who founded the OSI, but the execs at OS. If I. To be frank, I... too many people. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Hildern is a good example of big picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on the I am out of this. results that he lost the concept. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need. Giving us people like you around. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around. Yeah. What's up? I think I know heard of all I needed to hear for now. So far, nothing yet. Okay, things are starting to get a little glitchy. It's not good for never. Oh, yeah, it's right behind so I'm just going to go check out the... Hold on, train where I'm supposed to go. For Mojave driving, yeah! That's where I was going to go. Before my mind got boggled up. We gotta go to the conference. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, go, go, go! Oh, this room I'll, is I'll, I'll see around on the other side. Oh, that's fast! Why is everything at Oh my god! Oh, it's a nice camp. You have to hand it to the NCR. Get enough hands working. Oh, okay, you're too close. Break just about anything. Nice outfit you got there. Crash satellite. Sorry, started, huh? Well, may I? Fifteen plus, I'm right for this. What the? I can't see anything. Well, yes, I can. What? Huh? Am Am I being mean to decide to film? Far New Vegas. All world blues. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome, a huge stone facility Ooh. that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. 
Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. I don't think we did. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. Then metaphorically. So did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep. Their creators slowly died in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the big empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Hmm. I've never been to this place before. But this place, the dome, it's impressed me. I wonder what old technologists have it before the Great War. I keep it in there. They're frail, strangely heavier. Graying, especially in your body, reveals faint surgical scars around your hand, chest, and back. Wait, do you, what did they do to me? Huh? Why? How did I get here? Huh. This place is pretty large. Go figure. Hmm. Looks like they have some kind of experiments on me. What happened to my own stuff? Oh, my weapons are here, but I feel stronger than before. That's considerably odd. And my wares have come weirder than before. Oh, I was thinking I still sell some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. How do I get out of here? Camera, camera, it flashed me when I walked in, so I couldn't oh, see. Oh wait! I don't want to alarm you, but there's a skeleton in the corner of this. He's got a free shoe. All right, I think we should go one at a time. We should like like wait. This guy, my son, knows why I'm here, and wow, Mr. Rice would be on the enclave. Personality files, damage or missing. Is there a backup holiday to restore files? What else am I could do? Bed. But no promises are going out well. Hmm. Rock flower, fresh apple, pure water. I'll take all ten if I want to. I'll ship on my power armor. It seems ordinary enough so far. Bad time to listen. Not one of these things actually work. And I don't have a key. Hey, what do we have here? I need some personality files. Well, great.
personality files. What? Who are you? Huh, I guess this must be my old room, I suppose. Queen bed. At least I still figure out what's going on here. Then we'll talk. We, we nominate one person at a time. So I went the first one. I'll go, I'll go on this one. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is that? I'm saying some sort of piston. Strangely, only a pacifist and was over. You're fine, you cannot draw your weapons or you for some reason. Well, it wasn't really a plan for anybody yet, so go with you. Who are you? Wow, this is one big area. Hey, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna check. I I'm... thought I heard the pacification field kick in. Alright, nobody move, or I'll handle this. Okay. <laughs> you are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain, the collective geniuses of. We. Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Ink? What the? Oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spot two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. Biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Clyde. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. Uh oh. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? Enough. Either of you do it again. It'll be the last time. Great. Well, I forgot what I was saying. How are you all speaking about who that one in the voice box? Uh, I don't give a full pop way to see. Tell me why you hold me here now. I was at the theater and I was here. What is this place? Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Moros, you are with animals. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dalla, get the spray before it, it screets all over everything. I wake up here, all cut apart, and I want some answers. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin below. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its its limbs all over everything. Uh and are those penises I see <laughs> wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. Hey, it's a natural body part of a human. Toes Male. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Okay, aren't you profoundly no. profanity? I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. Huh? It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. How else am I supposed to breathe? This by the great static. These lobotomites confound me. Hold up one finger, point at itself, point at them, hold up five fingers. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. Those are my fingers. Tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Clyde, wait. I, I don't believe those gestures were random. It's been following our conversation. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. My brain's been extracted? Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the Mentats again? Mentats. If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion... All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are! 
the Bottomite. Do you understand me? Can you speak? Yes, I'm guessing that Crash Shadow Light was yours. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Yes. Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Monster? I'm half a monster, half super perfect man or something. I got lost halfway. Awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this Lottomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. Dr. Klein, our transmission from the Forbidden Zone. It can only be. Huh? If it isn't it's my own colleagues, why would you arrive? Big fools. Oh, oh. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome shaped dome. Even now, my deadly robo scorpions. Probably oh, scorpions. Bye? Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can reach the Forbidden Zone. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? What? Ask the lobotomite for help? If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. Perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. Makes sense why I'm not you, it's not as before. We left it. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. If we ask it politely and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, you did what? It might be favorably disposed to us. You did what? Bob, you lobotomized me. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft. Barely wrinkled, yet so flush. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless part. If it replaced with advanced technology, say so I can no longer be crippled and resistant to camera addiction, and shot from bodily damage. Oh, good. Hey, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um... Sp uh, the spine? The Tesla coils! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. That doesn't explain the laser structures in my chest. And on my spine. Darla, was it necessary? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living green. Although in truth, the autodoc had done most of the work already. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it. Other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tank. First, was the heart. Then, how is my. I'm heartless. The scars in your chest seem to confirm what the tank thing was saying. It can be poisoned and filters in your artificial blood pump, will regularly bleeding, healing, allowing all healing items, chems. 
So if I should a higher level, 0.25%. What percent I can reduce by you, and 50% of the less likely to score your throw. Oh, wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Now I'm spineless. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine is replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage have been increased by one. Totally overrated. Um, look at me with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took my brain, heart, and spine? That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. By the fissure of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. I'll stop him. With science, of course. Is something about needing technology to stop Mobius? Yes. It is our only chance. A desperate plan that came to us. Maybe. Just maybe. If we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius. What exactly is a plan? You're losing me many generalities. I need specifics. The plan was very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work. I'll help. What do you want me to do? Excellent. I'm only helping you guys. I want my body parts back. My organs. Activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map wave. Settle down, Ace. I would have gotten it in a second, alright? Ace transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Ace is correct. All we need are the schematics. Attack of the illustrator. We do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired lazy. High school whore. You would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will also transmitify the schematics. This whole spice sounds dangerous. This does it sound dangerous. Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Which is actually dangerous. Technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequency. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard. And eight sonic sound wave emitter projectile gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. There. We have informed you of all we need. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude for- The faster gave us time, the better. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie- the many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish to end it all quickly and carelessly. Right you are, Ace. Right? In our test results, we'll make a note about how quick...